following is a Learfield presentation of the Washington State Sports Network. He buries it. The Cougs have taken the lead. This place is going to pop off. This is the Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. We're committed to being great here. Lofts it intercepted, and Washington State, Shaw Smith Wade. Wade. I'm proud to represent Washington State. I know the people that wear their coobs all across this country, they're proud to be a part of Washington State. Ward has blocking to the right, sprints to the 10, angles all the way, touchdown. Why not be here? Why not cheer on this team? Why not Why not see this environment and make it something special? Spins out of a tackle, has green 20-yard line to the 15, near sideline, Watson, touchdown. What an opportunity to show who we are as coobs. Tonight's show is brought to you by U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank, member FDIC. Tonight's show is also brought to you by Zeppos, where the Palouse comes to play and eat. Now, live from Zeppos, alongside Cougar head coach Jake Dickert, here's the voice of the Cougs, Matt Chazanow. Great to be with you. It is that time of the week. We're talking ball here live at Zeppos. We're back outside, back-to-back oh, back weeks. Just when I thought we couldn't top what we did last week. Here we are, Chaz, another packed house. Why wouldn't we be? Places, places popping once again. Great to see everybody. Uh, Coach, Saturday for Washington State, a 31-22 win over Wisconsin. Congratulations. You ranked your 2-0. Thank you. Thank you. What a start. Saturday from start to finish, from sunup till after sundown when, when the ball game ended, was as good a day – for Cougar football, for any football, for America, yeah. for, for college yeah. football, yeah. as could possibly happen. $27.2 million fundraising. Yes. Uh, groundbreaking announced. The I- IPF, Taylor Huge. Sports Complex, incredible, amazing amount of work went into that. Yep. I've been hearing about that since I got here. Mike yes. Price told me he was trying to do that in, like, 1993. It's been, it's been a process, and, yeah. and to, to have that be that day was, was a big moment to really get the ground, ground broken. You, you have a, this beautiful Chamber of Commerce Saturday. You roll into Martin Stadium. Yeah. You honor Coach Leach. With the, it was, and you, so you won that game in that shirt with it was on the flag. The, if I'm going to be honest, Honest, the, it w- the Coug head above the pirate, like just logo, just awesome. really fits. Fit awesome. the moment, fit Coach Leach, fit everything, and uh, hopefully we'll get some merch out that people can buy because we got a lot of requests. Yeah, yeah, a I, lot of requests. Size large, please. Yes, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's yes, all. I mean, yes. that thing's awesome. Yep. Uh, and and you have, you know, you've got Joe Dahl raising that flag. You've got Bill Moose raising that. Jeremiah yeah. Allison was on campus, yep. right? Some recent Cougs, those two, and then of course Bill Moose, and um, and then you get into the ball game, yep. right? And you're up twenty four to six. Yeah, the real show. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We still got to play a game. And it's game time, yeah. right? And, it w- and it was great. It was one of those things where, you know, we came into the game very confident in what we can do. And I thought the year before to go out there and beat them, I think it, it just gave our team confidence. And we were ready for this test. Uh, but, Chaz, I'll tell you what. When I ran out of that tunnel, it's Martin Stadium has never felt like that. And it hasn't. It was electric. It was a credit to the fans, the people, the alumni. It was engaged for four quarters, and and our team fed off that. And I thought we were a little amped up maybe just to start it. But then I thought you saw us catch our rhythm and the defense holding in some red zone stops and obviously the big sack fumble touchdowns. We'll get into some of that stuff. But it was just getting off to that start and really building that lead. Uh, But it was a gutsy win. You know, it was one of those things that wasn't easy. There was adversity and a lot of learns as we went throughout the course of the game. And our guys finished. And it was against a great opponent. And uh, it was awesome to see. It felt like earlier in the week, uh, one of your, maybe a press conference, a little bit here, but even prior to this, this is Thursday, so it might have been Tuesday or Wednesday. I had this vision of you like throwing up like the cougar bat signal to the sky, like the, <laughs> yeah, like there was a yeah. cougar head logo. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and you and you kind of you said, hey, listen, like this is it. You yeah. know, co- conference realignment chaos. You know, a lot of that's still unsettled, right? There's there's news that has broken since we've spoken on all that stuff, in in terms of what's going on yeah. off, off the field. And you get not only do you get a standing room only sellout, you get Drew Bledsoe, you yeah. get Clay Thompson. That was fun, by the way. You, you, yeah. Yes, yeah. I mean, and the, you know he's on the field soaking it up. Right. Yeah, I was like fanboy, and I got to meet Clay it's Thompson. He's I the was best. Like, Man, he's this the is best. pretty cool. Oh, no, yeah. he's the best. And so and so you kind of made this. Hey, we need to show off on ABC East Coast primetime window, yeah. and and there it was. Well, I think Chaz, there there is a balance. You know, I think one thing we showed our team on Saturday morning was a, a picture of the stadium, and I believe it was from like the game day environment, uh, where well, that was sold out against the Oregon Oregon Ducks, and but we fogged out anything but the field. You know, and we created a vision for our guys to say, hey. That is all outside noise. You know, I understand the moment. I'm not going to ignore it. We're going to be on national TV. It's going to be a sellout crowd. It's going to be bright lights. 
but we've put in all this work in the dark and it still only matters what we can execute and perform so i thought it was one of those good visuals for our guys to see that that is fog that is noise that we got to focus on what each individual's job is to do to go out there and to be successful for 60 minutes so but the broader picture was after you know i know the 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 national spotlight was on Pullman, Washington and Washington State and you know even even myself I was I was emotional you know and it was it was raw emotion I hope everyone sees it as really authentic because what I said I believed and to see the fans rush the field like that with passion and it just it just kind of hit all as one as you know what it meant to every Coug out there so to see our guys perform in that atmosphere against a really good Wisconsin team just sets the table for what we can accomplish this season the biggest thing I said after the game is this is not the destination. This is week two. This is a step in the journey. We can play better, and I think that's what's been the task this week of let's identify how we can get better and let's learn and grow. Yeah, there's two things you're trying to do. You're, you're trying to keep the guys focused on the field so you're fogging everything Correct. out. But also you want to harness that energy. Yeah, well, it's one of those things, Chaz, where you know the energy is just flowing. It, it, it's natural, yeah. right? And it's almost where you got to dial it to where we can I, you know, identify where we need to be for performance. So uh, just running, like I said, running out of that tunnel, I knew it, it was electric. Uh, but I thought our guys did. You know, once that ball is kicked off, you only see that grass out there and your opponent and what you need to do. Well, Pullman really showed off oh, on man. Saturday. I, I did challenge everybody. And for them to go out there and do that and respond, it's just another reminder. Six times a year, we get this opportunity to come together like that on that type of stage. It just shows how special and what it means to everybody out there. And I'm so thankful for all Cougs out there. The whole thing it was just awesome. It's just a round of applause to every Coug yeah, who's a part of it. Because, absolutely. Because that meant, it felt like the field rush meant more than, and I don't mean in any way, Wisconsin's really good. Like that game meant a lot yeah. in itself, but there's, there was extra. There was oh, there was it. extra. And our chief of staff comes over and he goes, the coach, they're going to rush the field. So I'm like, oh, I got to take off and, and go <laughs> shake coach fickle's hand sure and i go over there and he's got four bodyguards yeah and i look around and i go i just got bill stevens you got <laughs> you know i was like man and i've never felt more safe in my life yeah that's and, all you need you know because i did get someone sent me this you know i shouldn't look at it but you know big boomer sends out the top 50 coaches you wouldn't want to fight at midfield oh okay i yeah. wasn't on the list is that right <laughs> A little offended. Okay, Coach Bowl was on the list. Well, I have a feeling you know, he might and, see this. And now. Luke yeah. and Luke Fickle was number one. Is that oh, so? so if you he's want, got if, the bodyguards. If you want to make the list, <laughs> sometimes you got to take the top one down. <laughs> but I was like, I want to make this list, you know. So, um, but no, it was a fun moment on the field. But I never felt so protected in Cougs and the love that was out there. I mean, it was. Yeah, it you was actually, it you was actually had thirty three thousand bodyguards. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was easy. A lot yeah. of selfies, a lot of taking in the moment. I, I mean, bet. it was it was a cool. For everyone out there, I mean, it was a big moment in, in Cougar history that hopefully everyone will remember for a long time. Oh, that was it was really incredible. I wanted to take the segment to try to capture yeah off the, all that the context yeah. was. Let's take a break and come back and talk about the game because it. it was an incredible game. We'll take a break. We're live here at Zeppos. Cougs beat the Badgers. We'll talk about it next. Saturdays are made for football. When the game is on, we're finally off. Off duty, offline, out of office. A cracked Coors Light is our do not disturb message to the world. On game day, we don't think about the 9 to 5, but worry about the 4th and 1. So this Saturday, grab a Coors Light, press play on some pigskin, and pause on everything else. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshments, made to chill. Proud partner of Cougar Athletics. 2021 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado, celebrate responsibly. Spokane International Airport is a proud sponsor of Washington State University Athletics. The airport connects Cougar fans and alums with over 50 daily departures to 18 nonstop destinations provided by six major airlines, as well as one-stop connections to most major metropolitan centers throughout the U.S. Real-time arrival and flight departure information is available at SpokaneAirports.net. Spokane International Airport, when it's time to fly. Carbon monoxide detectors save lives because if kerosene, propane, natural gas, or wood isn't burned properly, dangerous carbon monoxide may result, and it can build up indoors without you knowing, as it's invisible and odorless. So protect yourself by installing UHL-approved carbon monoxide detectors. If carbon monoxide is present, the detector will alert everyone to get out of the house, where you can safely call 911 for help. Avista, we just want you to be safe. You're listening to Cougar Football on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. 
whenever I see somebody purchasing something with their WSU card, I always like to give them a go Cougs. It brings me back to when I was in Pullman. From the rolling hills of the Palouse to keys jingling before every kickoff, there's something special about being a Coug. That's why BECU created the WSU credit and debit cards. It's just one more way to show pride for a place we all call home. Grab your WSU card today. BECU, power in people. Membership required. Restrictions apply. Call 800-233-2328 for details about credit costs and terms. Federally insured by NCUA. Member compensated for participation. As a locally owned family business, tradition is the core of Chipman and Taylor Chevrolet in Pullman. We know that every family has traditions, and when it comes to automotive, we want your traditions to start with us, the family at Chipman and Taylor Chevrolet. We are a different type of dealership, and we take pride in continuing what we were taught many years ago to be honest, never pressure, and to treat our customers like our own family. It's just that simple at Chipman and Taylor Chevrolet in Pullman. is the Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Runs into a massive crimson, does not get the yard. It's a goal line stand. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Matt Chazanow. It's week three. We're live here at Zeppos talking ball with Coach Dicker, getting set for the Cougs against Northern Colorado coming up on Saturday. Now through September 29th at Northern Quest, enter to win a brand new GMC Yukon Denali in the $116,000 Yukon Rush giveaway. Details at northernquest.com. 31 22 yeah. on, on Saturday. You, you beat the 19th ranked Badgers at the time. Now the Cougs are ranked 23rd. You hold Braylon Allen to 20 yards rushing on seven carries. Ches Malusi, 50 yards on 12 carries. So a combined 70 yards between Malusi and Allen, maybe the best backfield in the country. Certainly one of them. Yeah, I think we knew Chaz, and we talked about it last week, that if we could cut the head off the snake and make them pass and try to make them a little bit one-dimensional, make them do things that they're a little bit uncomfortable doing, and that is a group effort. There's nothing, one thing that you can just say, hey, a linebacker or a D-line or a DB. It was a, a group effort on that defense of just swarming and being physical, and I thought uh, Coach Betting and the defensive staff did an amazing job of making the ball bounce sideways. We never got him to get his shoulders downhill on us because that's where he's dangerous. And we kept spilling the ball out to our outside support. Hicks was phenomenal, once again, making those tackles from his safety position. And, you know, I just don't think we get enough credit to the staffs on both sides of the ball and what they're doing, what the game plans they put together. And our guys went out there and executed, and that was a big part of it. 13 tackles for Lockett, too. So both safeties were yeah. super productive. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, this was kind of the wrinkles uh, that Coach Schmetting brought in. I'm a little bit more of a one-high man-down blitz guy, and, and Jeff brought in some more two-high stuff to get the safeties in some run fits, and I think that's what you saw. And Sam Lockett, uh, I mean, is probably the most improved player on our team He's done just a great job of taking his game to the next level. But it also shows, Chaz, when you have consistency of coaching and system, he's just so much more comfortable with who he is and what we're asking him to do in year two. And he's going out there and playing fast. So I know Hicks gets a lot of the love and Shaw, you know, but Sam has been another anchor of that secondary that I think is off to a really good start. He's playing with a club on his hand, too. He or is. Was, we yeah. finally got the club is, off. Is that so, off? Yeah, okay, that's good. good. That's good, yeah. yeah. So he, did, he played Wisconsin with a club at 13 times. Yeah, he's like, Coach, I, I – do hope I get a chance to get an interception, but I don't know if I'm going to catch it. Gonna stump yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. To one it. side, <laughs> um, but other than that, it. yes. Uh, Cameron Ward, 21 of 33 passing. It's funny, there's 21 of 33 passing. Yeah, and that was just about the score. Uh, yep. 21 of 33 passing, 208 yards, two touchdowns. But he's different on the ground this year. I mean, in 17 carries, 43 yards. It's a little skewed with the pocket, pocket stuff. Yeah. yeah, but it just is a different beast this year. Well, I think Cam, you know, we're going to ask him to do a lot of different things. And at the end of the day, we're going to put the ball in his hand and let him go win. And I think everyone knows there was, you know, some ups and downs and trials and tribulations in that third quarter. We didn't actually perform really on either side of the ball the way we wanted to. But what I loved in the fourth quarter, it was 24-22. Yeah. I went up and down that sideline like, guys, we have the lead. I know this third quarter didn't go the way we wanted it to, but we have built a lead at our home place. Let's go finish. And defense got the big stop, and I thought the offense did a good job of recollecting. And in that moment, Cam was electric. And I think his escape ability is off the charts. I just want to make sure he doesn't slip into default and think that's what I need to do every time. But he went out there and made the plays. It wasn't easy. I thought it was gritty. 
uh, and it just did a good job of finding some space, especially early in the game. You know, we took advantage of some things, and I think you saw Lincoln Victor's versatility throwing almost a touchdown pass. Uh, but Cam was right there, and I think his, his leadership and his toughness really showed, and, and we can take another step forward on offense. Yeah, Victor, seven catches, 55 yards and a touchdown, a 39-yard pass, I think it yes. was, to the, yeah. to the one, and then caught the touchdown yeah. to, to finish it off. So he – there was a third down play on that last drive as we went to score. He just made a, a great catch over his shoulder, like third and seven, third and five. It, it, my mind escapes me, but that might have been the play of the game, you know, because there would have put old Coach Dicker in a tough spot to go for it or punt there again. But uh, he made that play, kept the drive locked. Cam got the big scramble late, and then we went down and jammed it in and scored. And then the defense coming back out there, just the opposite of CSU, closing the door. I can't tell you how important – that phase is to just for confidence of what you know our defense needs to be great and continue to get better to go out there and finish that way and then once again for two years in a row to get the ball wisconsin knows we have to run and we run out three and a half minutes grind out six straight runs uh you know i just think it was impressive and showed our toughness as a team yeah the numbers in the box score in totality don't reflect how timely the late runs were in Nakia watson i think with a nine yard run late that was a key deal well i mean it's third and seven and they're looking at getting the ball back and you know offensive line little outside zone got a chance to seal them Nakia hit it and man now you're just looking at one more first down and you can take a knee we went out there and did that one pretty easily and it was just that that's big tough moments i mean that's big boy football they know you're running you got to go out there and get it there's no option to pass keep it running you know and those are the things that you can really build on and while our run game Chaz, isn't where we want it to be and where we need it to be we got to rely on those situations and say hey this is what we can do against a tough opponent uh when our back's against the wall i think we uh, learned a lot about ourselves now you're, you're starting f full disclosure you're starting to make me look really good on these broadcasts oh. like extra good oh man because okay. you make me look well, good on this well, show listen so it, it's a trade-off it's a two-way street because yeah. you do something i don't know what the stat is for it i don't know how to capture this okay the timeliness of your turnovers forced and recovered is incredible. Why when, is this? When we need them most. Okay. I'll, I, I've lately been saying, I was like, hey, hey, Brank, I wonder. <laughs> might be a really good time for Washington State to force a fumble yeah. or get a pick. Boom. You've well, done it against the Beavers. You've done it against the Stanford Cardinal. You did it against Wisconsin. So, you did it last year at Wisconsin. Why don't we just blame you for not saying it more? Well, that's really fair. Fair you point. I mean? Yeah, just, sure. Just yeah, beam, I'll take it. it down yeah, to me yeah, a little bit more, yeah. and we'll dial it that's up. That's where you need a button. We need that's a little right, button. Yeah. Right. Hey, Coach, time for the turnover uh, thing. Do, uh, do the thing. The, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, incredible. Make it, make it easier on us. Yeah. I, I'll tell you what. Uh, Ron Stone Jr. in that first half was unblockable. Yeah. And I think he showed that. And I think everyone sees the sacks and the sack fumbles. Absolutely. Um, but here are some things he did in the run game. Uh, but, you know, we, we talk a lot with those edges that they have to be kind of our catalyst on defense to make everything around them uh, easier. And, and Ron, Ron went out and did it. And obviously, B.J. to get both of the fumble recoveries, he gets the touchdown. He gets the funny celebration in the end zone, <laughs> you know. But it was just those two doing it together was huge. And, um, you know, we pointed out in the team meeting you know why they're backed up is because Nick Haber did his job, yeah. pinned him inside the five. You know, so that's a team thing that we all do. Nick had the game breaker. RJ goes out there and really does it, and the lid came off the place, to oh. use a phrase from you. <laughs> it was loud. <laughs> yeah, it, it was loud. It, really, it was really loud. Oh, it was one of those it moments. Was awesome. It was just like everyone celebrating. It was just one of those big, big plays that I think you'll see on the back home video at some point. That was a power five moment. Yeah, it was. That was There's a, a lot of those. There were a, there lot, a lot, lot of power of those. moments. That was one of them. We'll do questions now. We've got write-ins. We've got Twitter loaded up. We'll take a break live here. It's Northern Colorado Week. The Bears from the Big Sky coming in. We'll take a break. Come back live here at Zeppos. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, oh, oh, coming through. Yeah. Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. 
Which schools will take home the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup for the 2023-24 college athletic season? You can follow the standings of your favorite school or alma mater at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. That's thedirectorscup.com and L Directors Cup on Twitter. Trophies will be awarded in June 2024 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. If Pac-12 football runs deep in your veins, then Sirius XM Pac-12 radio is what you need to listen to. We're talking conference and team previews, plus hear live games, news, and analysis from experts like Jeff Schwartz, Yogi Roth, and Evan Moore. Go in-depth with your favorite team with coaches shows, championship specials, and more. Get inside Pac-12 football like nowhere else. Feed your fandom on the Sirius XM app. Stay up to date anywhere you go. Just download the app and start streaming. This is former Coug, Eric Coleman. Picked off, intercepted, touchdown coming into the end zone, Eric Coleman. And you're listening to Cougar Football. Go Cougs. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppos. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppos is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppos.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppos. Do you ever pay attention to overhead power lines? If you're like most people, you don't, but you should, especially when you're working up on a roof or carrying a ladder outdoors. Kids who climb trees and fly kites and adults with drones need to watch out for power lines too. And on the off chance that you find a downed power line, stay at least 10 feet away and quickly call 911 and Avista. Always pay attention to power lines. It's your best line of defense. Avista, we just want you to be safe. This is the Cougar Football Hour. Summer salts in. Football first touchdown. U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank. Member FDIC. Here's Matt Chazanel. Back here live at Zeppos talking ball with Coach Dickert as we get set for the Cougs against the Northern Colorado Bears. Washington State University would like to thank Crimson and Gray for their continued support of Coug Athletics. Head to bookstore.com to get the latest in Coug apparel. That's B-K-S-T-R.com. All right, we've got write-in questions for you, Coach. Let's right. start right off the top here. Which player has the best dance moves in the locker room? And that is from Deb Melton, uh, Gray Coug. Oh, there's Gray. probably some video of this somewhere. We've got our video guys here, but it's definitely not Coach Dickert. It's definitely not that. Um, I, you know, I think we're here, pretty good though. I can hang. I can hang in there. I can hang in there. That is not a weak point in, yeah. in Coach Dickert's yeah, game. I'm not embarrassed. Yeah. I'll, no, I'll yeah, get out yeah, there, but yeah, it's yeah. not my strong suit. I, I'm trying to think who who is good. Ron's got some moves here. Yeah. Shaw Smith Wade. He can. He was at the center of a little bit. Jaden Hicks was out there. Uh, we had some fun in the locker room, Chaz. I think that's uh, ultimately what it means, and I think we even did some jump around at, at the end of the day. Oh, uh, yeah, is that, is that right? That's fun. I think oh, that's so. Fun. I well, think that, so. That was a good time for it. That was a good time for it. Uh, as a coach, what are the standards for a win to be worthy of a field rush? Oh, that's a good one. I, I think definitely it qualified. Yeah. I, I think the, the moment, I think any time you beat a ranked team on your, on your field, uh, but I did mean what I said. We didn't never felt like it was an upset. We never felt that way. We knew we were going to come in and, and play our best and had a real opportunity to win the game. But uh, at the end of the day, it's whenever the Cougs feel like it. If I'm being honest with you, that was a great yeah. moment. Uh, but any ranked team, I think, is, is definitely worthy. Do you have, you have any opinion on that? Well, there was some, also, there was some other context oh, to it, Oh, there was a lot too. to it. There was a lot. There felt like a big celebration of of the whole logo, the whole yeah. athletic department, like yeah. Cougar Athletics, yeah, like they, all of it. I think at one point the announcer said stay off the field, and I don't think Did that was matter. ever yeah, – there's no chance. No, you're not no chance. Keep, no, no. I, I think I do have to, like, say that that's supposed to happen, but yeah. the, you're, you're welcome down there. <laughs> you're right. welcome. Yeah, that's right. You're, you're against protocol right yeah. now. Uh, when you watch the game film, did you get a smile on your face when their fourth down pass fell incomplete or Nikia Watson got the last first down to ice the game? 
Oh, oh definitely won the ice the game. Okay. Yeah, okay. The, the fourth down was big. Uh, and like I said, go out there, shut the door, and it was a good pressure. And I thought just showed to the, our depth at corner, I think, is really strong. Cam Lampkin, I thought, had a really good game and his best game so far as a Coug. Uh, but nothing, nothing's ever relaxed and smiled until you know you can take a knee and then everything's all over. Settled. Uh, Coach, can you settle a family squabble? Ooh. Gonna, this did, the, now this sounds good. Going to get in the midst, the thick of things here. Okay. Older sister believes strongly that what they wear, drink, and where they park impacts the juju of the team. Okay, that's younger. That's heavy. Younger brother yeah. says the outcome rests entirely on the team doing the work. Who's right? What, where's your, where do you fall in superstitions there? So you're talking to the most unsuperstitious person in history. Okay. I, I, I don't need a certain sock or, or shoe or, or anything. I really don't have any common rituals, so it's all about performance. But as long as older sister thinks that's work, Keep doing Stick it. Stick with it. Keep right. doing it because right. that must be it. That right. must be it, right? Butterfly effect is a, is a theory. Like that's, that's like the, yeah. you know, I don't know if that's real or not, but that's the idea of superstitions, right? Yeah. So uh, there you go. Both are correct. Correct. Brennan and Ron get lots of acclaim, deservedly, for their leadership. Who in the program might emerge as leaders once those two guys move on? Well, it's actually something we've talked about a lot. Uh, you know, it's going to be hard to replace their energy, you know, because, like I said, they've, they've talked to you plenty of times. When they come in the building, you feel those two guys, and they've been mainstays for a long time. And, uh, you know, right, wrong, or different, sometimes you defer to that. You know, hey, Ron's going to do the talking, or BJ's going to do this. Well, I think we've got a lot of guys that we work to to develop that uh, really throughout our program. I think Jaden Hicks is obviously ready to take the next step in his leadership ability. Uh, Hudson Cedarland, Devin Kalaney is actually an energy starter for us, even as a backup old lineman, just love what he does. Uh, so I think there will be a lot of different guys throughout a program that will continue really to come into their own and, and really feel like what that leadership and what those moments are because I think they're really important. We'll go to some uh, social media questions here. Uh, Mama Brennan Jackson. Okay. Ms. Jackson. Um, Mama Football 97, which is It's very great. fitting. I love it. Yeah. Uh, hi, Coach. Hi, Chaz. Hello. Uh, uh, I'm sure you can see uh, you're not here tonight. Yeah. Okay, question. Yeah. Uh, what college team did you dream of playing for as you were growing up? Me? Uh, I think so. Okay. I, don't well, think Chaz, so. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's me. I don't think it's me. Well, I, it was the Badgers. Yeah. It was, yeah. and I don't yeah. know if she's trying to make a maybe. point there, but it, it was. That was a she big deal. Know. When they're the only big school in the state, like that was a that was a big deal growing right. up. You go to their camps. You see yourself there. You go to the games. They had an amazing tradition because I was never going to be a scholarship guy <laughs> uh, of taking a lot of walk-ons and those guys playing. Uh, like Jim Leonard's a preferred walk-on right. that has made it big. They had a long line of a bunch of uh, guys. You know, J.J. Watt. Actually, was a walk on at Wisconsin because yeah, he went right. to Central, Central Michigan, Michigan first. So there's a lot of the different stories that you're like, oh, I can be that guy, and I was never gonna be that guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, should WSU and OSU start playing for a rivalry trophy? And if so, what should it be? Is it a rivalry trophy or is it like a kind of, you know, loving friendship trophy? Like I don't know, know what what, you, yeah. what do you call it? Yeah, like a I mean, land I, grant, I kind of a. I definitely think there's something going forward that can be created. I, I think it, that, you don't want it to be artificial, you know. Right. But I will say this, Jazz, that I know that we're connected in this conference thing, and I think that is important. You want to beat them. But trust me, in two weeks, there's going to be nothing friendly on that field. Like, nothing friendly. Like, there's not going to be clapping for scores. There's not no, going to no, be no. like, yeah. we're going to be competing. Right. And uh, so make no mistakes about it. Well, uh, we're connected right now. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be on on the field. Did you see this video at Reeser when they they showed our score against no. the Badgers? So Reeser's packed and they're doing their thing and they show the Cougar score. Place goes wild. Okay, like okay. very very yeah. excited about yeah. this. So there's that. There is that yeah, energy. It, yeah, right there's now. some friendly it's, environments it's yes. in the moment. Uh, Wazoo Crew 11. How about those volleyball wins? Yeah, Jen oh. greeny has got the volleyball. Yeah, team heck going. yeah, let's yeah. get a round of applause yeah, for sure. Big time. Love that. Jennifer Delzer, what is your feeling about a so-called – this is an interesting question, and, and I don't want to put you on this, but this, you know, I obviously don't have a ton of time to read these. So yeah. You put me on the spot often. A little often, bit, a so little bit. You always yeah, like to say that, but you keep going with it. I do like it. it. That's yeah. true. You're not wrong. It's yeah. a bit of a hot seat. Yeah. seat goes. What's your feeling about so-called trap games? Do you emphasize extra focus, try to keep it just like every other game? I think the spirit of that is – is you know Wisconsin and then the Be and then the Beavers and you have a non-league opponent right yeah. and, and Northern Colorado is 0 and 2 and they've had a little bit of a struggle first two weeks. Not that you're not taking them seriously, but the spirit of it, I suppose, is something like that. Yeah, I mean, and these come about, and I think it's all perception. Yeah, I think it's the reality that in football is a unique game where you practice it for so long and you only get 12 opportunities. You know, so to 
this is, this is going to be a test of our maturity and our mentality, especially coming off a big win and a perceived big game in the future. So I just think your heart will be on that scoreboard. And why waste an opportunity with your brothers to go out there and get better? And that's kind of been our message this week that I talked about it on Monday. There is a laundry list of things at every position that we need to work on and get better. And we need to go out there and be mature competitors. And that's being our best in everything that we do. So let, let's go attack this challenge. And, uh, you know, I don't get big into, oh, look at this team. They upset them. And, like, no, let's, let's live to our standard the way we want to play because this team has not peaked yet. And we've never played our best game yet together. So let's go out there and find that and keep working towards that goal. So I stay away from the big trap game words and all that type of stuff to just say, hey, we have a standard of our program. This is the way we want to do it. And why would we waste one of these 12 opportunities? Because amazingly, Chaz, it's week three already. Isn't that crazy? You know, yeah. the, you know, the, after this game, the first quarter of the season's done. Yeah. You know, so – more, we're, we have an opportunity to be 1-0, and live in the process, and more importantly, that takes us to 3-0, and and that's starting the season fast. Yeah, and then you get toward league play, into league play yes. after that. Uh, Kale, uh, Wazoo Coog wants to know what your favorite uniform combo is. Do you have a favorite uniform combo? Yeah, I, I think this week we're the traditional. I yeah. do like the light, the light gray with the crimson. Yeah. You know, uh, all white is to me really, really sharp. Yeah, the icy white. And I think yeah. at some point we just got to bring back that scripted kooks. Yeah. It just, yeah. It, it, every time I see it in the office, I'm like, man, yeah. uh, it's, it's just something look. about it that it's a, it's a sharp look. It is a sharp look. Uh, Daniel Hayes, coach, did you celebrate after the game by eating any cheese? Go oh. kooks. There was a big sausage and cheese tray, actually. That's good. Uh, and I, I will say the reviews of the Cougar Gold from the family were very positive. Love that. Now, Love the that. coming in like what they would call a tuna can you, threw them off, right? Sure. Yeah, that was a different deal. It's a lot of tuna, but yeah. Like you know a, what I'm I saying? The yeah. can threw them off a little bit because sure. they're used to the, the good cheeses come out of the wax. I don't know if you know that, like a wax coating. Okay. So I don't know if you understand the art of the cheese. I don't. I want okay. to be totally clear. So there, I, there's I like a yeah. wax coating, and you really peel it off. And then so we had some cougar gold. We had some smoked gouda. We had some fresh pepper jack. I mean, there were some things that were really, really well celebrated after the game, Chaz. If, if you really want to know how little I know, you know, and, I, and, and there's no secret, I grew up in New Jersey. Yes. You know, it's, yes. it's not the cheese capital of the world. It's not. It's not. Uh, I ate the wax once because I didn't know. I didn't know. It's a, it's a, I was a little boy, you know, uh, yeah. but I didn't know. You I'm know? trying to think. So, like, uh, we have a staff meeting before the game and at Wisconsin. We had this great, like, sausage cheese deal. And I think one of the coaches was looking at this block of wax trying to – they thought it was a candle. Sure. Like, you know what I mean? Why you would you – Wait, wait why I would – I was like, yeah. coach, get, come on, come on. It's not amateur hour. Uh, it, I'll open it up. Yeah, I, w I was Sliced lost. it up, and we enjoyed it. And they're like, oh, that's the freshest yeah, cheese I've ever great. had. Yeah. 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 The, but don't, uh, wax isn't good. Don't, don't it's do not, it. Don't it's do not. It, it wasn't. No, that wasn't good. it. Didn't, didn't yeah. work. Wasn't nope. good. Um, how do you make sure the team stay full? We kind of answered this already. How do you, how do you focus on, on Northern Colorado with all, with all the games coming up? We, we'll, we'll move on to yep. the next question. Tom, yep. Tom's great here. Uh, Tom wants to know um, – uh, let's see. Goku, sorry, missed your missed the family hug on TV this year. You didn't get a chance to see the. You, yeah. you loved that family hug in Madison last oh, year. Oh, it was. Yeah. yeah, that was that was one that was an all timer. Yeah, you know, uh, an emotional sure. deal, and it's still, you know, reigns reigns true. It mu it's got to be still like you can't make that up for you. No, I mean no. the whole your whole family was here. From Wisconsin. That yeah, was fun. Play, was, even this year, though, it was, I mean, something about celebrating those Cougs fans on the field now. It was, uh, it was a fun environment. And, and like I said, we, we, know, we knew what that moment meant, and it was a fun deal. Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, Drew Coog wants to know, maybe a little bit of the morning routine, what cup holder do you put your cup of coffee in your car? Is it the front cup or the back cup? I don't totally understand the question. Okay. My, and for what it's worth, mine are next to each other. They're not vertical. We, so. we do practice in the morning, so I try not to really drink coffee till after practice. Oh, really? And there's this new thing I'm, you know, about don't have coffee until hour and a half after okay. you wake up. Is that up. real? I've heard this. But, you know, because you got natural you know, things in your body that wake you up and get you going. And, it's, you know, that's why you get the crash. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to st stay off it a little bit. How's it going? Not good. <laughs> yeah, because at 9 o'clock, I think I'm having way too much. Yeah. Lincoln Victor came up to me the other day. He's like, Coach, I don't know if I ever see you drink water. And yeah, I was fair. like, dang, I got I to gotta get back. Well, when I first met you, you had a little um, – post-practice workout routine i did now i'm doing it before okay i am getting up early early. i'm getting early and getting it in well how early are you getting up yeah early. Early. Five, okay. yeah, we're getting yeah, up there we're early. rolling all right. all right hey brought to you this broadcast brought to you by frost brewed coors light made to chill visit your local retailer look for the coors light coog display qr code for your chance to win a pair of tickets 
to see the Cougs tackle the Dogs on November 25th. Promo starts September 19th and ends October 30th. Open to residents in Alaska, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. Must be 21 or older. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. We'll take a break. Come back here live. We've got ourselves a special guest. Linebacker Devin Richardson is going to throw a headset All on. We're right. going to put him to work here at Zeppos. Coming up next year live. Saturdays are made for football. And when the game is on, we're finally off. Off duty, offline, out of office. A cracked Coors Light is our do not disturb message to the world. On game day, we don't think about the 9 to 5, but worry about the 4th and 1. So this Saturday, grab a Coors Light, press play on some pigskin, and pause on everything else. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshments, made to chill. Proud partner of Cougar Athletics. 2021 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Whenever I see somebody purchasing something with their WSU card, I always like to give them a go Cougs. It brings me back to when I was in Pullman. From the rolling hills of the Palouse to keys jingling before every kickoff, there's something special about being a Coug. That's why BECU created the WSU credit and debit cards. It's just one more way to show pride for a place we all call home. Grab your WSU card today. BECU, power in people. Membership required. Restrictions apply. Call 800-233-2328 for details about credit costs and terms. Federally insured by NCUA. Member compensated for participation. Cougar football lives here. Got the middle touchdown. One second left. Cougars on top. On the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Today's nutrition report is brought to you by Wilbur Ellis. Did you know that athletes competing at the highest levels are more prone to chronic inflammation? That's why it's crucial for athletes to consume anti-inflammatory nutrients found in nuts, fruits, and vegetables. To ensure crops have the nutrients they need to provide athletes with high-quality nutrition, Wilbur Ellis has developed product technologies like Nutrio, which increases the crop's availability to key nutrients when it matters most. Healthy crops mean healthy athletes. Learn more by visiting Wilbur Ellis Agribusiness Dot com. Whoever said good things come to those who wait clearly never ordered in the McDonald's app. Just order ahead in the app and you can pick up when you get here. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Cougars fans, now you can win all season. On game day, get a 20-piece chicken McNuggets and two medium fries for just $10.99 when you order ahead on the app. Valid once per day through December 1st, 2023. At participating McDonald's, must opt into rewards. This is the Cougar Football Hour on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Runs into a massive crimson, does not get the yard. It's a goal line stand. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Matt Chazanow. Back at it live here at Zeppos. We're talking ball and really excited to be joined. Special guest linebacker Devin Richardson is now on the headset. We're putting putting a headset on on the transfer from from Texas and you're a Texas guy. But it's such a crazy story to me that your college career, your first ever start as your freshman All-American, you had a heck of a season at New Mexico State, was in Pullman. So you started your career against the Cougs. And now you're wearing the crimson and gray. Mm-hmm. Give me the give me the big picture. Like how surreal is that for you that you started here and now here you are? And I know you've had a bit of a relationship with Coach Dickert over the years. Mm-hmm. It's been a heck of a story, man. I mean, I couldn't write it myself. Uh, going to New Mexico State out of college, I mean, out of high school, and then my first game being Paul, man. I like the the Cougs. Like I would have never thought I would find myself being back in Washington State because, right. I mean, I went to Texas, my dream school, when I ended up transferring out of New Mexico State. And I had that relationship with Coach Dicker, and um, he was trying to get me up here, and I ended up going to my dream school, which was Texas, and then I ended up in the portal again. was not the plan. And then when I went in the portal again, Coach Dicker hit me back up. He was like, man, you ready? <laughs> Talk about this. Like, come on. I was like – yeah, you're right. You, t- you told me so. So I went ahead and went with it, and then I found myself back in, in Washington State, and it was like, 
Dang, how did I end up here? Yeah, but yeah. it's been a blessing ever since. That's so. great. Well, it's it's been gr- it's been a, it's a pleasure talking to you now, and it's great to have you here. And you also lead the team in tackles, tied for the lead at least. Eighteen stops. You had eleven in your debut. How has it felt out on the field, like right, where it matters the most to you as a Cougar? I shouldn't say that. Where it mat- where, where you're doing your thing as a Cougar in between the lines. How's it felt out there? It's felt. I've I've been able to be free, man. I don't play tense. I've been able to uh, be loose. And I think that starts with the uh, with the what we build as a team, as a unit, and just trusting each other. I think it starts with trust, and then uh, the trust within the coaches and the coaches to the players, and just being out there and having fun and just knowing your assignment and playing free. That's the biggest thing. What's it like as an older guy now in playing college ball? Right, you've been to two different play, three different places, and going into a new locker room, right, and you're going to start at middle linebacker, and so with that comes some leadership expectations of some sort, mm-hmm. but you're new, right? And there's guys who've been here a long time. You've got RJ, you've got BJ, you got guys. What's it like trying to integrate in the locker room like that? I think it was cool because I pulled a lot of stuff from my first transfer going from Mexico State to Texas, and I saw what I excelled in. I saw what I needed to work in and far as far as feedback from coaches and players, and then I was able to do that when I came here. And honestly, I just feel like an old head. Like a lot of people call me unk, and I have an uncle <laughs> tendency, so – I mean, I just kind of be myself and then just follow accordingly, just just being the natural leader that I am. We're with Devin Richardson, Coog here, middle linebacker for Washington State. Take me through games one and two in terms of Coach Smetting, Coach Dickert, how the defense is played. You know, would you would you take away from the game at the Rams and then maybe, you know, more impactfully what you just did in stopping the run against the Badgers? Um, it was a lot of learns. I mean, from that first game, uh, we flew around. We were making plays, and there were some things that we could have capitalized on that we didn't, and just finishing in the fourth quarter. And I think that carried over to playing against playing against um, Wisconsin. That was some hard-nosed football, man, and it came to just doing your assignment, trusting man next to you, and just getting the stops when we needed to. And I feel like each week we're just getting closer and closer and better and better and stronger and stronger. What's it like communicating with new guys in game, right? Like it's it's live speed. You got Kyle Thornton to your left. You may have you know Jaden and Sam behind you. You've got the guys in the in, you know Pete Caligas's guys right interior of the line, maybe in front of you, mm-hmm. maybe maybe some of the edges. There's a lot going on just in terms of pre-snap alignment, right? Mm-hmm. How much is that part of the evolution week to week? Oh, it's huge. I think, like I said, it's gotten better through connection. So I mean. You can try and practice for it through practice, but nothing's like a real game scenario. So um, just understanding that sometimes I might not be able to hear somebody, so you have to read your keys. You have Mm. to be able to vocalize. Say if you set the front, um, it gets reset. You have to get down there and be able to talk to them. So just understanding where God's strength and weakness is and just playing off of that. How about that atmosphere in, in Martin Stadium? For that, that game, nice. that, that was, was fun, nice. huh? It, it, it shot me. Oh, that was <laughs> man, we really out here. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty cool. That was big. Hey, congratulations! And what does Northern Colorado show you? Um, they show me a lot, man. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna test our keys, and well, we're just gonna have to play sound rules, and just being. It's one thing that Coach Dicker has preached this week is that it's gonna be us against us, like. We have to fine tune and do what we do. Don't allow the other team to dictate how we play. We're going to play hard nosed football. We're going to do our job and execute. Thank you, Devin. Thank you for this time. Devin Richardson, everybody, middle linebacker here for the Cougs. We'll take a break. Thank you, buddy. Great stuff. We're live here at Zeppo's next. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. 
This Cougar football tailgating moment is brought to you by Canoe Ridge Vineyards, proud partner of Washington State University Athletics. For this week's football game against Northern Colorado, smart Cougar tailgaters know to pair award-winning Canoe Ridge wines with a crowd-pleasing pregame meal. Your mealtime roster will score big points with Canoe Ridge wines backing it up. Canoe Ridge Vineyards, representing the best of award-winning Washington wines with more than 85 critical scores of 90-plus points. Visit them at their Walla Walla Tasting Room or at CanoeRidgeVineyard.com. Go Cougs! Cougar football lives here. Got the middle touchdown! One second left! Cougars on top! On the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppo's. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppo's is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppo's.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppo's. You know, when you love sports like I do, some people just don't get it. All the yelling, the face paint, the blind allegiance to some fictitious beaver. But you know who does get it? Epic Sports Bar. With their 30-foot HD TV, amazing game day menu, and live sports betting on their Turf Club Sportsbook kiosk. So now, I don't have to worry about scaring the cat every time my team scores. <laughs> Sorry, Muffins. Good kitty. Epic Sports Bar. Only at Northern Quest. Welcome back to the show. Time now to look ahead at this week's game with the Coors Light Opponent Preview. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Back at it live here. We've got Coach Dickert back on headset. Great to talk to Devin Richardson. A pleasure to talk to him. He's a heck of a tackler, yeah. and, and he's a pleasure to speak with. Well, it's a fun story. I, it meant what he said. I mean, I called him up the first time he was in, and then this second time I called him up, I said, you ready? And he's like, I'm coming, Coach. So there wasn't any hesitation to his voice, and – I just I've been just so appreciative of Devin and his leadership. You know, to come in uh, to this situation and obviously yes, want to play, but to to be the leader he has been, and and once again, you know, he he has it, and I just love what he's doing for our defense, and uh, he's just a great person, human being, and represents the Cougs really well. Love it, love it. It's great to have him on here. Uh, we've got ourselves Northern Colorado opponent preview seg- yep. segment here. Uh, they're under a first year head coach. Uh, not his first year as a head coach, but yeah. his first year in Greeley, Colorado. Ed Lamb, who was here on the BYU staff yep. in your first game yeah. as a head coach, uh, really, really close ball game. He was the special teams coach. He was also on the Palouse because he was the Vandal DC in okay. 02 and 03. So the Palouse and Mo- you know, Moscow Pullman is knows. Yeah. yeah, he knows everything that's that's going on here, which really does matter for them for you know travel logistics, their, their comfort, where they're going to do, where they're going to where they're going to eat, blah blah blah. So it's not like he's a stranger to, yeah. to Pullman. Um, do, I don't know if you know Ed Lamb, but he's he's zero two to start, but it's his ninth year as a head coach, uh, as first with Northern Colorado. Well, just got a lot of respect for Coach Lamb and and what he's doing, and obviously the BYU roots is all over the film and the tape, and yet he puts his own personal identity to it. But you know he's just like we are i mean they're building a program and that obviously takes time uh but to get there and kind of reset and reframe they're playing extremely hard they're playing the game the right way uh things really haven't bounced their way so far yet this season but uh you know i know he's gonna have his team prepared i know on special teams they do a lot of different things and the, the schematics of it is a challenge you know it is and i think dev did a good job of framing it they will test every rule possible on offense Every once in a while you see the option, and then you see spread, then you see jet sweeps and unbalance and X off, and they have a whole list of things that they like to do. They'll mix and match tempos, and then defensively it's kind of that classic BYU three down, multiple zone coverage, blitz, man, you know, and things that we don't see all the time. You know, and uh, the Wisconsin game was a good precursor uh, to getting our rules and principles down for this game, but they do it in a little bit different, unique ways than Wisconsin did. So 
they will test us in a lot of ways. And But at the end of the day, I still think it's about us and looking that man in the mirror and holding ourselves to our standard of the way we want to compete and play. Yeah, their defensive coordinator was a great player at BYU. He was actually part of a BYU defense that was like a top three defense in the okay. country about 10 years ago, a guy named Preston Hadley, and, and he comes from BYU. You know, I think any time you know, BYU is an established program, they understand winning, they know what discipline looks like, and they get their players playing a certain way. And I think, uh, you know, as you're establishing a program, you know, you, you come in here and you, you let it all loose. You know, you go out and, and give your kids the best opportunities to play fast. And I think that's what we'll see. They have an experienced quarterback in, in Sermon, uh, a guy that's played a little bit of football out there and wants to prove himself. So, um, you know, they're not going to back down. They're, they're not going to just be intimidated by coming in here, to your point. And uh, we got to make sure that we're doing things the right way. It's kind of funny that Colorado State starter was Hugh Millen's son. And yeah. now Jacob Sermon yeah. is, is the starting quarterback here for Northern Colorado. He's from, you know, from Bothell and, yep. Yep. and all that. All right, it's the Cougs against Northern Colorado. We need to take a break. We'll do it. That's a quick opponent preview segment. We'll come back. A couple more questions are floating out here. And we've got two more segments here. Live at Zeppo's talking ball with Coach. <laughs> Nothing works up an appetite like cheering for your Cougs on game day. So why not cheer them on at Northern Quest with an impressive roster of restaurants and lounges? You can tackle the menu at Epic and catch every play on the 10 by 30 foot screen. Or grab a steak at Maslow's, a fine cigar at Legends of Fire, even a burger from Fat Burger. You know, for your inner linebacker. See more at northernquest.com. Go Cougs! Hey, Coog fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppo's. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppo's is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppo's.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppo's. You're listening to Cougar Football on the Washington State Sports Network from Learfield. Get game day ready at Rosars. Rosars is a proud sponsor of WSU Athletics and your headquarters for keeping snacks stocked up for game time. You'll find the largest craft beer selection, local and imported wines, and all the makings for your favorite cocktails. And while you're there, stock up on your favorite deli snacks, pizza, rotisserie chickens, and ribs. Don't just watch the game. Experience it with your favorite game time foods. Get game day ready at Rosar's. This Cougar football tailgating moment is brought to you by Canoe Ridge Vineyards, proud partner of Washington State University Athletics. For this week's football game against Northern Colorado, smart Cougar tailgaters know to pair award-winning Canoe Ridge wines with a crowd-pleasing pregame meal. Your mealtime roster will score big points with Canoe Ridge wines backing it up. Canoe Ridge Vineyards, representing the best of award-winning Washington wines with more than 85 critical scores of 90-plus points. Visit them at their Walla Walla Tasting Room or at CanoeRidgeVineyard.com. Go Cougs! This is the Cougar Football Hour. Summer salts in. Football first touchdown. The U.S. Bank. Life keeps moving. We're here for every step. U.S. Bank. Member FDIC. Here's Matt Chazanel. Back at it. Live here at Zeppo's talking ball with Coach Dickert. We're going to go. We honored Coach Leach before this game. I'm going to ask you a question that I don't know who this beautiful gentleman is and okay. t- tails the cat 79 has just a beauty for you i'd love to hear coach leach's thoughts on it i'll ask yours <laughs> as well would would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck that is a classic it's a very important it's an important question and it's important for people to know that things are very serious on this show it is this is an in- is. incredibly intense yeah this is in-depth high pressure stuff we really turn the screws yeah, yeah. tight yeah. Not under Coach Leach, which I do felt like uh, the old Pirate had a little touch on that game. You know, yeah. he did, right? I love that. Uh, I know it was quite quite just kind of the moment there, but uh, I think I'm going to go with the uh, horse-sized duck. Okay. I think, I, I, think, I think if you have 100 of those little horse, horses problem. running around, <laughs> we got an issue. I can't corral them. They might get behind me. Yeah. Like there's, You know, you never know. They're yeah. just going to go wild on you. Yeah, that's a good answer. But I think the duck is a little more docile. I just, it's bigger. Yeah. But, but, I think, but, but I think you can, like, tip it over, and then we can take it down, yeah. clip a wing maybe. Yeah, 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 a little duck I think tipping. there's a lot of strategy that you have to do there. Yeah. Um, but I, I would just go on one versus 100 of those things. Like, 
They, they, they'll get after you now. Hunter's a big number. That's a bad deal. It's a big it's number. It's a bad deal, Chad. Huge thanks to Tails the Cat. One yes. set. That's a fantastic. Keep them coming. Thank you. Thank yep. you. We'll take a break. Come back. Put a bow on this show next live here at Zeppos. Saturdays are made for football. And when the game is on, we're finally off. Off duty, offline, out of office. A cracked Coors Light is our do not disturb message to the world. On game day, we don't think about the 9 to 5, but worry about the 4th and 1. So this Saturday, grab a Coors Light, press play on some pigskin, and pause on everything else. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshments, made to chill. Proud partner of Cougar Athletics. 2021 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Carbon monoxide detectors save lives because if kerosene, propane, natural gas, or wood isn't burned properly, dangerous carbon monoxide may result, and it can build up indoors without you knowing, as it's invisible and odorless. So protect yourself by installing UHL-approved carbon monoxide detectors. If carbon monoxide is present, the detector will alert everyone to get out of the house, where you can safely call 911 for help. Avista, we just want you to be safe. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders. Plus, all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. The passion. He's going to take it to the house. Dinner's cooking. Touchdown. The fury. Getting blessed. Down he goes. The speed. The 40, there he goes. Down the sideline. Mr. College Football. For the end zone. Got it for six points. You can unhitch the wagon. Put the ponies in the bars. Back in the end zone. 30, 20. This is the College Football Blitz. Listen all season long on College Sports Now on the Varsity Network. This is former Coug, Eric Coleman. Big golf intercepted. Touchdown coming into the end zone, Eric Coleman. You're listening to Cougar Football. Go Cougs. Hey, Coug fans, can't decide what to do with your late-night weekends? Why not Cosmic Bowling? Every Friday and Saturday night from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. is Cosmic Bowling at Zeppo's. At a price designed with everyone in mind, we are your destination for music, disco lights, and, of course, bowling. Can't join us on the weekends? Zeppo's is the place to be for all ages every day of the week. With bowling, food, and drink specials, we offer prices that won't break the budget. You can even reserve your lane in advance with online reservations at Zeppo's.com. When looking for fun in Pullman, look no further than Zeppo's. Spokane International Airport is a proud sponsor of Washington State University Athletics. The airport connects Cougar fans and alums with over 50 daily departures to 18 nonstop destinations provided by six major airlines, as well as one-stop connections to most major metropolitan centers throughout the U.S. Real-time arrival and flight departure information is available at SpokaneAirports.net. Spokane International Airport, when it's time to fly. Back at it live here at Zeppo's final segment, Cooks Northern Colorado. Coming up, it is a two o'clock kick. Perfect time. So yeah, that's, the way football was meant to that's be. your ideal, right? That's, oh, that's right in the sweet spot. Love that. Two o'clock kick. Cougs Northern Colorado. Part of the three game homestand, by the way. Yeah. That's that's nice too. And it's gonna be over eighty degrees on the Palouse. Another beautiful day. I can't wait to see all Cougs come back out and let's have another great one. Can't beat it. Absolutely. Uh, Jim Flynn wants to know, and this is a write in question, so we always want to get the write ins in. Yes. As opposed to social media we love it, but yeah, the write ins yeah. if you're here. Jim Flynn wants to know how much beer you you won. After the Wisconsin win, did you win? Is that a little family wager situation? No, because we're all on the same side. Oh, right, of yeah, course. There, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know, there was a lot of congratulations coming back from the home state, but there was a lot of beer drank, Good. I, I think, Good. after. That's fun. Yes. That's, uh, we well, enjoyed. Yeah, that's we fantastic, enjoyed. As, as, as one should. Uh, so it's it looks at the 2 o'clock kick. It's that perfect time. I'm not looking ahead. I'm just looking at the schedule yeah. right now. It's the Beavers, and then it's a bye. Yeah. And then, and then you're in kind of the teeth yeah, of the Yeah, first time play. I've been here uh, to have the early bye, you know, but I, I don't mind it. I think it allows you to really set your sights on that first part and then obviously attacking eight straight games. But the power of the Pac-12 this season I think is being well documented, and it doesn't surprise anybody that's, that's on the West Coast. We really knew what it was going to be, and now nationally they're seeing, hey, this is real-time football. Yeah, and it's kind of what the – I know it's a great year and it's an incredible start, historically good, but it's impossible for a league to pivot qualitatively that fast. This is 
how it's been. This That's is exactly. the, what the pack That's has right. been. It's, it's not back. possible otherwise. Absolutely. Huge thanks to Jerry Kylo. Jared Brangoober's hidden behind this, this uh, yes. backdrop here. He does such a good job for us. Thank you, Coach yes. Luke Hallett back in studio. Derek Dice will be on the radio call for me. I'll be on the telecast Let's for go. Pack Network with Michael Bumpus. Excited for it. Thank you, Coach. Two Cougs. Go Cougs, Go Cougs.